Hello and welcome to What Will Use Sticky Plumbing Fixture Requirements with ID8 Sticky. ID8 Sticky lets Revit users link Excel files into the Revit project, allowing direct collaboration with non Revit users and reducing liability due to data entry errors. The use of ID8 Sticky saves time by eliminating the need to transcribe Excel based data into the Revit project and through the ability to publish changes from a single Excel file into many Revit files without opening Revit. This video is one in a series that asks the question What will you, Sticky? Due to the nature of Revit's data structure, there are several important code-level tasks that cannot be completed by using a Revit schedule. For example, a table that requires the comparison of two separate groups of data, such as gross and net area, cannot be done with a Revit schedule. Another example is any data that requires first a summary and then a rounding or a conditional format that is applied only to that summary data. In this video, we'll take a look at plumbing fixture count requirements as an example of this particular condition. You may be wondering about the nature of this problem, so let me explain. Most non-residential buildings have code requirements for the number of toilets, etc. that's based on the area usage within the proposed building. In this simple example, we have two floors, each with a few rooms, although areas can also be used. The schedule is showing the subtotal values for occupancy for each level, and then conditional statements are used to determine how many plumbing fixtures are needed per each floor. If we expand the results to show each room, some important details become apparent. The conditional statement causes a minimum of at least one fixture be to be true for each condition. With the net result being that with rounding, we need seven men's toilets, for example, on the first floor and three on the second floor. If, however, we were to take that data outside of Revit, which we've done here with BIMLINK, we get another way of manipulating the conditional statement. As you can see, if we first add up all the occupants per floor and then use the conditional statement on that subtotal, we get very different results. Now we only need three men's toilets on the first floor instead of seven. This is saving your building owners serious money. So if you want the best possible outcome for your customer, use Excel to do the math and use ID8 Sticky to publish the results inside of your Revit projects. ID8 Sticky liberates your data from the confines of a Revit schedule and lets you link in any Excel tabular data. If you'd like to automate the process of managing the plumbing fixture count data, stay tuned to see how ID8 BIMLINK can work in conjunction with ID8 Sticky and a little bit of Excel customization. To automate a plumbing fixture data count, there are three basic steps to follow. First, you'll need to export the data from ID8 BIMLINK to Excel. Next, you'll want to format that data. This can be a manual or highly automated process, as you'll see. Lastly, you want to import the formatted results into your Revit project via ID8 Sticky. Let's see how. The data set that we're using in this video includes a Revit file, two BIMLINK link definitions, and a macro-enabled Excel workbook. This data set is available to existing ID8 software customers. Just contact us via support or look for details at the end of this video. Before we begin, we should take a tour of the Excel file we'll be using. This file has already been set up and you'll see that there are a number of tabs here, including some for rooms and some for areas. This tab represents the sheet onto which we'll have BIMLINK write the new data. There's a macro built into this template which will automatically copy the formula into this column for the occupancy load. It reads whichever formula is listed on this worksheet. The tab called Rooms Plumbing Calcs is where we've already done some formatting. This tab has a pivot table to read from the ID BIMLINK data, as well as some formulas that are adjacent to the pivot table. As outlined in the instructions worksheet, you'll definitely want to review all the formulas to see if they align with your local area code requirements. We'll start our first step by using ID8 BIMLINK to extract room-based data into the Excel file. Though we'll be using rooms in this example, areas can also be used. We've already set up a link which aligns with the data as specified in the Excel file. We'll select Export and then be sure to change the type to XLSM. 
This lets us overwrite one of our worksheets within the file we just reviewed. Our next step is to open the file and format the data. While the BIMLINK raw data is written to the Rooms Plumbing Worksheet, this Calcs Worksheet is where we'll be doing our formatting. You can see that the data on this tab has already been automatically updated based on the new BIMLINK data. So, after either manually or automatically formatting your second worksheet, all you need to do is ensure that the print area is set for use in ID8 Sticky. Because we are automating the occupant load values in this example via the Excel macro, we should import those values to update our room tags with the valid load data. As we close BIMLINK, you'll see the schedule variance values reset, and if we zoom in, we'll see that our room tags now accurately reflect the occupancy load data. Now let's review our sticky, which has already been placed in this sample data set. If you haven't done so already, you'll want to use the Update From option to point the sticky to your version of the Excel file, which I've already done. The sticky will automatically update when I reopen this Revit project, but I can also select one or both stickies and manually update to see the changes now. To summarize this process, then, the first step was to export the data from BIMLINK. The second step is to format the data. This can be done manually or through the use of a pivot table and a macro, as we've shown here. This step can be automated. And lastly, you want to create or update your sticky using ID8 Sticky. Be sure to use the auto update function to ensure that the Excel file values are published back into Revit all the time. If you'd like to test drive this workflow yourself and you are an existing ID8 Software customer, just email support at id8software.com and ask for the plumbing data set. This video shows just one of many ways that you can be saving time and reducing liability with ID8 Sticky. You can discover other time-saving ideas by browsing the other sample files, or our help file as shown. What will you Sticky? ID8 is an authorized Autodesk developer with over 25 years of experience. For more information or to download a free trial, visit us at id8software.com forward slash ID8Sticky.